Hello guys, so uh, ayun ay uh, kagaya nga nang naipangako ko ay uh, ako ay magla-live ngayon about uh, this uh, very trending topic regarding now. I hope that uh, everybody can hear my voice clearly. So, antay muna tayo ng few minutes para ngayon na maka-join naman yung mga yung iba. So ayan, mga may mga students pala ako dito ng sumasali, itong si Jeff Paunan at si Jeff Mendoza. So both are my students. So hi guys sa inyong lahat at Salde, Luz. Oh, si Luz din, si my subscriber on my stock updates. I mean, not the stock update but the uh, uh, about my recorded sessions. So hello sa inyo guys. Uh, Hello sa lahat ng mga kababayan, kababayan natin around the world. Uh, sa ang panig ka man ng daigdig. So, I'm very glad na with one, uh, you know, mission and goal, uh, nagtitipon-tipon tayo dito sa isang goal na ang goal natin ay maging profitable sa market. ba? Diba? Yun naman talaga yung ano natin, yung main goal. So I'm sure na yung iba sa inyo, I mean I'm sure that uh, dito kayo ngayon nanonood dahil it's either mayroon na kayong now na stop, naka-hold pa rin kayo or either nag-aabang kayo kung maganda bang bumili sa now. So dalawa lang 'yun or uh, pangatlo nakikiramdam kung ano ba <laughs> buy or ano. <laughs> so Kumusta kayong lahat at uh, I'm very glad that uh, uh, dumadami yung mga followers ko about in Facebook. Actually, I just started my mentorship uh, and um, about stop uh, to becoming, uh, you know, publicly uh, broadcasting my live session since a uh, few, few, few weeks ago. So, and I'm very glad that uh, uh, sa ngayon marami nang ano, nag interesadong mag-follow sa akin. I don't know what's the reason but I'm I'm very happy. So just uh, follow me in my Facebook page or you can even add me uh, as a friend in this uh, account kasi this Facebook account of mine is all about stock market, stock investing and cryptocurrency lahat. So kung gusto niyo yung sundin ako about my updates just uh, you know follow me. Alright, so yan, may mga naka-hold pa rin sa now. Mayroong naman ipit, GMAR ipit. Okay. <laughs> so I hope that this uh, video somehow will uh, help you and uh, somehow enlighten you and guide you, so that uh, you won't you don't you won't panic in the market. Alright. So my my main goal here is uh, para ma makita nyo. Yung ano ba talaga yung uh, uh, magandang strategy na gagawin if in case that will happen and if in case this one will happen. So it's not a kind of thing here that we are doing na I am telling you that tomorrow or on Monday the price will be 30 pesos per share or on Monday the price will become zero. So this is not my uh, my task. So in the stock market, uh, the stock market guys what we need to understand is uh, to see what is currently happening uh, I'm speaking about the technical chart okay so to, to see what is currently happening and from that moment what is happening you make an action out of that so because uh, kasi naman, uh, nobody has a crystal ball to predict the, the market price on the next day, on the next week, on the next year. So what we have here is that we have this company, Now Corporation, and uh, gaya ng nasabi ko in the previous session, it's a very, very speculative stock. Of course, uh, speculative stocks uh, for investors like me, I'm, I'm basically an investor. I also do swing trading, but uh, I'm not doing, I'm not uh, using all my funds for swing trading. I allocate a certain uh, percentage of my portfolio, which is dedicated for swing trading 
and others are dedicated for midterm investing and the rest of the another account that I, I have is dedicated for long-term investing so that is my style and you need to ask yourself what kind of style that you have and the kind of style that you need to have will depend on the kind of lifestyle that you have the time that you have and the, uh, the skills that you have I say if you are planning to trade but you don't have that enough skills and knowledge and technical analysis then that doesn't sound good so it must uh, what you what you are doing must uh, uh, match with the current skills that you have kung wala ka pa masyadong uh, skills then what you need to do you learn 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 so learn first then you earn all right so ayun so okay so wag na tayong paligoy-ligoy pa marami ta- marami na nag-join at uh, yun there is a va- hype there is a pullback <laughs> all right so enlighten me about now hold before announcement Ayan, so this is an spec- a speculative stock. And what we are going to do is basically a speculative type of trading. This is uh, more or less similar to cryptocurrency trading. So we speculate, right? So with no corporation, we, specula- is we speculate as well. So one, one thing that I'm doing also with no corporation is to go in and out, in and out. So once the people are selling, panic sell. I buy. Once the people are uh, are are now, I mean, the price is now uh, up, and then and then uh, the the market price is really good enough, and I can see that the uh, uh, the chart movement or the price movement is uh, not anymore moving too much how I expect. Then I sell. So and then I rebuy again, re-enter when the price goes low again due to panic sell just like what happened last friday so right so ayun um magpakilala muna ako for those who do not know me yet i'm arnel papula you can call me neil i am basically an engineer and at the same time a teacher so trading and investing is just one part of my you know hobbies and uh, passion and, and teaching my kababayans to become knowledgeable in stock market is one of my passion as well that's why i do stock mentorship program but for those naman na ayaw ayaw na mag-analyze gusto lang sumunod sa aking mga recommendation and uh, when to buy and when to sell then i have also that program called weekly stock updates so if you want to subscribe on that just let me know so i also do consultation for those whom the portfolio is a little bit struggling on how to make profits then you can book me for schedule for for uh, you know consultation all right so hindi na ako magpaligoy-ligoy pa guys because i know that all of you are very very much excited about this uh, now corporation so what i'm going to do guys is that uh, i will i will tell you first what happened last week especially last friday and then from that we will see what kind of uh, actions are, are possible in this market so as i told you earlier we are not defining here the exact action and exact uh, uh, conviction na yun tataas talaga si now next week but what we need to have here is that if the market price goes up what you need to do what do you need to do if the market price goes down at a certain level, then what do you need to do? This is the so-called strategy, All right? So you have plan A and you have plan B. All right, so let's go to the to the chart. All right, so this is the chart of uh, now corporation. This is a daily chart, All right? So February 15, as you can see, we have here a candle which has a uh, thick body but very very long weeks as well so ito yung candle in the previous day so alam niyo naman siguro kung paano magbasa ng candle pag green open siya sa baba nag close siya sa taas pag red nag open siya dito uh, sa taas then nag nag close sa baba huh? so ganun yun but uh, this uh, high weeks meaning to say that yan ang naging range niya sa high to yung maximum ito yung minimum naman so, ano ba mapapansin natin dito from this one day? 
So it means here that the the price moved as slow as uh, as uh, 9.0 last Friday. Pero binawi naman ng mga buyers from this point. Buyers came in. Kaya nag-close yung, yung uh, now uh, stop at 13.98. Ito naman dito, during that day, it went up as high as uh, almost 20. Pero nagkaroon, dito nagkaroon ng panic sell. So, so, ayun. So, ito muna yung nangyari. Tumaas, then ito naman nag-panic sell, di ba? So, nabalitaan ko na it's all about the fake news na lumabas. But actually, I just learned about this, uh, you know, fake news just after the market closed. So, hindi ko talaga, wala talaga akong kalam alam about the news. Just, I made an action based on what I saw. I was actually planning to hold now corporation stock, uh, which I have positioned in the previous, in last Thursday at around the price of 14.68. So, I was planning to hold. To hold, I mean, hoodle. Kung <laughs> baga sa cryptocurrency hoodle. So, ibig sabihin na hold lang at uh, wag magpanik. But uh, from the chart, I saw that there was a selling pressure and exhaustion ng mga buyers. So, yung mga buyers was not able to push the price higher. And then, uh, I will show you later that when the price reaches my limit, then I started to sell. So somehow, luckily, I could still exit at 8.8, 18.8, sorry. So profitable pa rin ako at 28% profit during that time. And then I re-entered my, my, uh, that amount to 14.8. Na-field yun, pero bumagsak pa rin. Gusto ko pang mag-top up sa 10. Kasi malakas yung ano, sell pressure. Pero dito na naghang si ano, COL. So, yan. <laughs> Maraming nagkira-reklamo. I know that uh, many of you were uh, complaining about the, uh, you know, slowness of this uh, COL platform. So, dapat kasi, dap, uh, dapat kasi na-anticipate na nila yan, di ba? Alam naman nila na dumadami yung subscribers or mga account, uh, new accounts. So, Basically, they have to upgrade. They should not have been uh, waiting for these things to happen until such time they make a resolution. So, yan, yan ang, ang problema. So, maraming ngayon nagpla-plano na mag-change ng ano, platform, including me. <laughs> not really change, but, uh, you know, have a backup platform. So, I'm, I'm eyeing the fuel stocks. All right, so, all right, so, ito naman ngayon. So, so basically, uh, one thing very important here to notice is that kung makakapansin nyo, itong, itong week na to sa baba from this point to this point, it is 480. So the length, I'm, I'm measuring the length. From this point naman, yung week sa taas, it's around 385. So mas mataas yung week dito, 480, ito mga 370. I mean, not 370, but actually lower. From this to this, it's only 293 or 300. So, mataas yung week dito. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, guys, na bumagsak yung price, but buyers were still willing to buy. Sinalo nila dito. So, ang, anong ibig sabihin niyan? Buyers are still in control on this market. Again, buyers are still in control in this market. And when buyers are still in control of this market, we are expecting that uh, now corporation is still in a good shape. And we are expecting that prices will still move higher. So how high can it still go? I would tell you now that uh, I would not, uh, for now, I, I would not uh, uh, say yet that it will go higher than the previous high kasi at, at previous high dito naman papasok ulit yung profit taking so expect another profit taking at the previous high kasi ito na yung magiging resistance diba? but if that previous high will be broken so meaning ang price is mag 
expect that it will still move higher. So the market, it means to say that the market is still willing enough to, to buy higher prices of this of this particular stock. Okay, yeah, uh, this is the reason also why 52 weeks high is a very significant number. Kasi pag na break yan, meaning that bulls are still in control. Pero pag nag price rejection, meaning to say, price moves high to a, uh, okay? Ma moves high to that and then bounces back. That is an indication of still, I mean, the uh, indication that uh, the market, I mean, the investors and traders, I mean, traders only, are profit-taking. So it's better to, to go with how they are doing and then re-enter when they are done with the profit-taking. So that's it. That's, that's one, one, one uh, uh, insight from me. Okay, so nabanggit ko kanina na kapag the break, naman yung ano yung resistance na yan how high can now corporation go further at diyan papasok naman yung fibonacci extension Ito yung magical na ano uh, measuring tool so hindi ko gagamitin yun ang ano i okay I, I can i can use this okay so check naman natin kung marami bang nagjoin wow madami ah so, watching from Perth, Australia, Manu, my student. Wow. So, I'm very glad, guys, na nag-abang talaga kayo kahit ano, very late actually ito sa Pilipinas. But I think some of you are uh, located uh, somewhere abroad. Alright, so let's continue this. So, the question is, how high can now corporation go if it can break the price 19.98 or rounded off to 20. So we can uh, use Fibonacci extension. So kung magtatanong kayo, paano ba itong Fibonacci extension? Uh, paano ba gamitin yan? So basically, kung gusto niyo namang matutunan itong mga uh, technical skills, then you can uh, book me for a mentorship program. I do stock mentorship program. It's composed of four sessions. The first session is fundamental analysis, second and third and fourth sessions are all about technical analysis. And the good thing here is that I don't make this uh, technical analysis very complicated. I use the easiest way, I mean the easiest uh, um, techniques that makes profitability. So easy techniques, easy to understand, but very powerful and make you more profitable. All right, so what is the tool that we are using? That is the Fibonacci extension. So this is my base. That is the second point where it, the previous high, then the third point. Oh, sorry. Fibonacci extension base. That one and then lowest point here. Okay, so ayan. Mga plat plat talaga dito kung hang, an, ano yung mga magiging next uh, target prices for now. So, okay, so, this one, 22.67. The next is 30.95. And the third is 44.34. So, paano ba gamitin yan? I'm not saying that on Monday it will go 43, 44, 34, or 30.95. you guys is that pag ma-break itong last high or previous high, observahan nyo ngayon, magkakaroon ba ng profit taking dito or ma-break out. Pag ma-break out yan, the next target price will be this. At pag ma-break out pa rin yan, the next target price will be this. Paano naman kung hindi nag-break out, then you may take profit. As easy as that, guys. Right? So don't be too greedy. Pag nakita nyo yung uh, uh, rejection of the prices are happening, also take profit. If they are taking profit, you should also take profit. You deserve your money. You deserve your profit. Right? So, ayun. Uh, yun naman. I, I perform ko naman yung analysis ko earlier na I am still uh, bullish on this market. 
So ngayon, tingnan mo. Uh, tingnan nyo yung EMA20. EMA20 is basically an indicator, an oscillator that when the price is above that, the momentum is still there. So as you can see, 20, the price is above, momentum is still there. 50, it's an indication that uh, what is the average move of uh, the whole population, traders or investors or midterm investors. It can show that the average move is still going high. So if it will cross, then that's an indication that the market is now changing the trend. So, lalo na yung mga lower. So, of course, yung mga lower uh, or slower moving averages like 100 and uh, 200, these are our, you know, for long term. At uh, for 200, moving average 200, pag na break yan, expect that the market is now downtrending. But the market is still up above the 20, which indicates momentum. So, we are still bullish, right? So that can only show that we are still in a good shape. No need to panic. What happened last Friday was about this panic sell. And you know, uh, I, I, I think if you can remember my last video about uh, now, na may nagtatanong na, is it good to buy now corporation? At the current price of 14, 15. And I said, no, you should never buy. You should wait for a pullback or a correction. So yun nga nangyari. So I hope uh, someone could benefit from that uh, advice. Luckily, I hope that uh, you did not fa you did not uh, you know enter at a higher price and could enter at the pullback. So ayun, uh, I convert ko naman ngayon yung one day chart to four hours for uh, okay. One, para makita naman natin yung naging you know finer movement ng price in an hourly granularity okay so i remove ko muna yung yung indicator remove all indicator okay up sorry <laughs> okay, so okay, tika lang ha. So, this is really a bug up uh, in Instagram. Okay, kunin ko na lang ulit yung na. Okay, so ito yung last time na ano ko. So tingnan nyo. Ito yung last na update ko. About uh, last video. At dito ko uh, sinabi yung, ano, yung mga target prices. Yun, na-break yung TP2. Pumunta sa TP3. Na-break pa rin. So next target is TP4. Nag-gap up na yung, ano, yung price. At TP5. Uh, so hanggang TP5 lang. Actually, yung naging ano ko, yung, uh, yung uh, Fibonacci. Pero actually, you can still extend that if if you want. But, uh, alright, so we are not interested on that part anymore kasi past is past. Ika nga. So, hide ko muna to. Okay, so... I didn't call yung lagging span. So I don't know if some of you are, uh, how do you say, familiar about this uh, cloud called Ichimoku cloud. So it's a very, very powerful indicator. There is this uh, baseline and conversion line. So itong brown line, pag bumagsak dyan yung price on next Monday, it's better to exit. So it's very important. Okay, so. Pag bunga ba uh, yung price uh, below uh, 13.5. So, dito. Pag sinabi kong bunga ba, kapag yung candle na 1 hour mag-close below that, then it's better to exit and wait until price uh, hits uh, another bottom. 
like this 7 or 6.97 or 7.0 so that is the first uh, support the next is this one 4.97 so this is uh, the how do you call this uh, emergency exit natin so kapag hindi mangyari yung bullish move next week at uh, 13.5 yung ano natin ito pag bumaba yan sa so third i mean ito yan so the, the candle closes below that then it's better to wait for price to move lower actually there is one here yeah it's at 19.54 so that low this one at 13 a break yan 13.2 or 13.5 then price can move to 9.55 and if it will be broken down it will move to 6.97 the worst case all right so ayun ito pa uh, isa pang uh, analysis is extend natin yung trend line from this high to this lower naka form tayo ng triangle di ba so in that case kapag yung price uh, mag-break mag-break uh, mag-break itong diagonal uh, the resistance so for instance here 18.32 it's an ind indication that the the buyers are in control on this market and the first per per uh, first take profit point is this 9.95 or somewhere around that price. Pag ma-break yan, then use the Fibonacci levels na sinabi ko kanina. So, ayun. Di ba? So, kitang-kita naman na kahit nga itong cloud, kapag yung price above sa cloud na to, you are still, the, the market is still in a good shape. Tingnan naman natin yung volume. Paano nag-move yung volume? Tingnan nyo. So, reset muna. So, ayun. So that market correction is this. Itong pullback na nangyari sa price. Ito yun, yung volume. So yung volume was not really much actually. Yung sell volume. Kasi while the volume is still above this trend line, it is still okay. So when we are still very far from that. Ito naman, uh, kahit yung RSI, nasa malapit pa rin sa overbought level ba nasa 55 so mala, mala, malapit pa rin siya sa overbought level DMI naman so tingnan natin si DMI okay so DMI nagmeet lang yung ano blue at yung yellow so it's still not really indicating that uh, there is now uh, uh, that uh, the sellers are in control on this market at saka yung ADX, uh, yun, mataas pa rin yung ADX, nasa 65 to 70 pa rin. So, it's still in a good shape. So, indicators, price action are telling us that the market is still in a good shape. And we are still uh, having a positive outlook for this uh, now corporation. Alright, so I hope that uh, you guys, it was very useful to all of you. At, uh, for those who are interested about my stock mentorship program, just uh, go to my Facebook page. Um, yeah, you can find me with this stock mentor Neil page. Itong stock updates. This is my group for my weekly stock updates. And if you want to join this group, you need to subscribe first. And if you want to subscribe, just tell me as well. So stock mentor Neil page. Dito yun. Uh, nandito sa stock mentor nil page ko punta ka lang dito sa shop then nandito lahat ng mga services na ginagawa ko so mainly I'm doing stock mentorship program I have uh, recorded sessions for, for those naman na walang time to attend my live sessions you can avail my recorded session this is actually a, a recorded live session at uh, binibigay ko to uh, at a cheaper price compared to the live session. It's good for those who do not have really time to attend live session. At gusto lang mapanood yung mga session ko via their laptop or devices.
Pero itong uh, stock mentorship uh, program ko, itong live session, nire-record ko rin yan at pinoprovide ko sa student ko after my session without any charge. So weekly stock updates is all about my stock picks, which are about long-term, uh, mid-term, and swing trade picks. For every week, nagre-release ako every Tuesday. For those naman na interested sa U.S. stock market investing, then you can book me for stock mentorship program for U.S. market. I am actually an investor also for U.S. market. In fact, uh, a bigger part of my uh, investment is in the U.S. market. For consultation, naman, for if you have some problem with your portfolio, how to exit from a struggling portfolio, or what what kind of uh, you know um, strategy to use to recover in order for you to recover from that struggling portfolio. Or you still have you you are already investing for more than a year, but still, wala palang palang nangyayari. Maybe there is a problem about uh, picking the right stocks and uh, buying at the right price. So yun uh, webinar so far hindi pa ako nagkanda ng webinar, but I'm still uh, uh, trying to figure out how this can work in the future. All right, so I hope that everyone, it was useful to all of you. Thank you for joining, watching from Dubai. Jung sang in. Hi, Sayujan. I have a lot of friends and classmates there who are in Dubai. So I hope that uh, in, the, in the future, I will be able to somehow do really seminars uh, on the location where you are. So actually, I'm already thinking of that for a long term. But uh, I hope that I can really do it. So there is already a friend of mine who is uh, interested to to partner with me so he can start organizing the webinar, I mean, seminars in U.S. And uh, pati rin sa, ano, sa, sa Pilipinas, kapag maka-uwi ako, makapagbakasyon, it's also good to conduct some, spend some days with you guys para naman may share ko yung mga knowledge ko at mga, mga skills kasi you know there is only one percent of Pinoy who are uh, who knows stock market and investing in the market it means that we uh, many Filipinos are not really taking advantage about this uh, good economy that we have uh, a lot of foreigners are investing in uh, in the, our stock market so we are dominated by foreign investors so they are the one who are taking advantage of, of our good economy. All right, so yun, uh, medyo overdue na tayo, three minutes ahead uh, of the schedule. So thank you very much to all of you. And for those who could not uh, listen to this, it will be uploaded to my YouTube page or YouTube channel. Then just, uh, you know, uh, watch it there. And good luck to you guys. Uh, I hope that the next week about now corporation trading will be very much profitable. And uh, let me know what uh, was the result. Uh, did my uh, you know analysis help you a lot? Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Good, good night sleep to all of you. And uh, God bless. Till next time.